All right, here we are again, one year since the last Miata video, just like the last time. I think it's about time that I give you guys an update of what's going on with this car. Can I zoom in? Yeah. Oh, it's that piece. It's the same thing. It's been too long. So, <clears throat> here we are. Miata. What's wrong? Come on in. As you can see, just about everything. Floors, rusted. Floors is a hole. That's the bottom of the car right there. That's actually a bottom sheet that they put in and screwed into the car. Ryan, can we get your input on the car? What's left? <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, that needs to take that out. Fix it? Fix. And then... <laughs> so, um, you know what I do have to do actually, Kyle? Cutting this part out. I have to sh it, first of all. Second of all, I have to um, make a video for my current um, update to say what's actually... I almost sh my pants. Okay, so back here in the garage, we got that floor pan out. I got this floor pan out. There's some bad rust, especially... Especially over there. You can see. Okay, so after hours of grinding out rust and slicing my hand a hundred times, we finally uncovered something that was just too disturbing. The actual frame rail was starting to rot up near the engine bay, and at this point, I kind of figured out that I don't think there's much we can do to save this car. As much as I hate to see this go, I just didn't have the time and the space to actually give it the love it needs to get it back to a, you know, safe and standard quality. So what do you do now? Your Miata is basically junk. You have a big hunk of metal that you don't know what to do with. Well, let me show you what I did with this one first. What's up, YouTube? So, we are uh, gonna be doing a Miata day today, but not probably what you expected. I don't know what the last time you guys saw the Miata looked like, but let me show you what she's looking like now. Floor pans are out. As you can see, floor pan one, floor pan two. Rockers are all grinded out, you can kinda see. Um, engine, it's all ripped apart, no front end. You guys are probably wondering, what the f*** is going to happen with this car? Well, let me tell you, uh, this is not my car anymore. Um, well, it is, technically, but it's also being changed to a different Miata. So, we are scrapping this one, and we have another one that we've been working on. We're going to be stripping this today because we're getting another car that's going to be sitting here, so this one needs to go. The other Miata is in a storage locker, so that's where that one is. Plan for today is let's try to strip as many parts as we want from this one so we have it for the other one, and then uh, figure out what we're going to do about scrapping it. So we're officially at a standstill, the Miata. We basically stripped it down. Kyle painted the uh, rear quarter black with a smiley face right there. Um, these are all the parts we got. Big bucket all over there. Next thing to do is remove the engine and the transmission and then also the wheels and the coilovers. And we are waiting till our neighbor gets back so we can park it in his driveway so that we can, um, so that we can jack it up because we're on a slant. So, we are just chilling. Alrighty, we got the Miata in the neighbor's driveway. It's jacked up right next to this piece of crap. And we're about to start getting the engine out. Let's go, boys. Hey, I'm doing emotional support. Emotional support? Yeah. Him. You're not supporting you. me emotionally. <laughs> you look so good today. <laughs> <laughs> so, we removed all four wheels. <laughs> we removed the drive shaft. We removed the header and just cut the fucking pipe because it. We ordered pizza. We got the jack ready. This is, this is the MVP right here. Came in clutch with and wrench tactics. And next is trying to dismount the transmission. I'll do it by myself, no problem. Go up. Is the engine finally coming out of this baby? Hold oh, up. Yo, get a pan. Get a pan. Do you have a pan or anything? Or a bucket. Get a. Get a that's not too good. Oh, 
Come on, no! There she goes. And now she's pouring. So, it's better to be a member. It's time for the PC Insider Report. Over 100 new products for your best summer yet. I only have 30 seconds, so I'm going to go with these. Love our iconic cookies. Meet our PC deck. Uh, once, once back, back once again with the Renegade Master. This is my Miata. That's all I have left of it. Oh, most literally though. This is literally all I have left of that Miata. I have a door, a bumper, and that an engine. That's pretty much the majority of it. Coming through. Okay. What is up, everybody? So obviously, the last time you saw, um, I was scrapping the red Miata. So, what's happening from now on? Well, as you probably heard, yes, that's right. I bought another Miata. Now, uh, the Miata that I bought looked like this. Uh, pretty junk, but uh, what happened was I was originally going to take the floor pans out of that Miata and put it into the red Miata until I found that frame rot. I ended up deciding, hey, that one has like no rust. It's got a 1.8 liter engine with only 99K on it. And yes, when I bought it, it was running. So I was like, why don't we just work off of that one? So that's what I did. We sent it to the body shop and we got the frame bent back into place. And then we put the red Miata's front end on. That's why you didn't really see much of that. Now as you can see here, the front end is on, beautiful, beautiful. We have everything here, as you can see, all the parts. This is all from the red Miata. We have a bunch of parts on the hood, some stuff on the back there and whatnot. And then we also have the seats here that we put in previously and the roll cages right there as well. You can see we fixed the rear quarter, the front end's all bent back. What happened is uh, we had a little bit of an issue with this one too. So I parked it in my storage locker here. This is where this one's been sitting. Um, obviously, it's pretty nasty outside right now, so uh, that's why it's in here. Uh, now, I have all these spare tires, which you guys yet don't know what it's for, but these guys were originally on top of a shelf like this that was running across the whole wall here. And uh, one day, I think the neighbor must have hit the wall and these guys fell over and on top of the car. So that was very uh, disappointing. Obviously, it did damage some things. I think the dashboard that we we're going to use is a little bit damaged. I have to look more into it. Uh, as you can see, the windshield completely caved in. <clears throat> so that's great. Uh, it broke a couple other things. I know the trunk here is damaged. As you can see, it's all bent. Uh, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the soft top was up too. I don't think the frame on the soft top's bent, uh, bent either. But uh, I mean, I don't know for sure. Um, but at the end of the day, it did set me back a little bit. So that did really suck. Uh, but we're not done with the Miata. I mean, it's here. Uh, we've been working on it slightly. We have the roll cage in. Um, now, the roll cage isn't actually mounted in. It's still loose, but we did cut the holes so that they are ready to be mounted in. We just have to drill the holes. The soft top is in. Um, it is not 100% uh, loose yet. It doesn't really clutch as well, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, we got to put the dashboard in, obviously. We got to put the carpets in. Um, we got to get the soft top figured out. We got to mount the roll cage. We got to put the seats in. Uh, we do have some racing seat belts, which I don't know where they are. Yeah, well, we have racing seat belts. Oh, I think they're in this bin. We have racing seat belts that we're going to put in uh, the race quip, so that's good to go. Uh, we also have some coilovers here from the last Miata that we need to put in to this guy. Uh, we got to obviously get everything started. Now, the engine wasn't complete, but I did put in the remaining parts like the radi radiator and everything like that. Uh, so that's all good to go, but uh, now it's pretty much just the time it takes to finish this um, There is some things that need to get replaced such as the doors. They're a little bit banged up um, Maybe I'll do that in the future, but the main objective is to obviously just get this on the road So as you can see this is where the actual Miata is at right now. Obviously lots of work to be done, but We are determined. I'm hoping to actually start that this year. I was maybe doing it in the winter as well So we'll see the only problem is obviously with the, with the tires and everything falling on it, it was quite disappointing and kind of, you know, demotivated me a little bit. And then obviously with it being in a storage locker with no power, it's a little tough to be, bring all my tools every single time to work on this thing, as well as, you know, not being able to use any type of power tools that don't have batteries. So that's also quite expensive. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, this is the Miata. There's an update. You guys know what's going on. Don't worry. We're not done with it. Uh, we are going to get this guy done. Oh, also the Momo wheels right here too. So, um, yeah, we have a lot to do. Hopefully I get to that soon so you guys can start getting some content. Uh, this time I promise I will actually record as we do stuff. 
Um, but the roll cage and the soft top we already did previously, so it is what it is. But, um, but yeah. Uh, now I have to figure out a lot of things, such as obviously the dashboard. I'm not even too sure if a 91 dashboard can fit in a 97. By, by the way, yes, I forgot to tell you guys, this is a 97, not a 91 like the last one. So I'm hoping that the dashboard does fit. I mean, we'll see. I gotta do something about that windshield though, because that's gonna be affecting the dashboard for sure. Huh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, regardless, I mean, I hope you guys have been sticking around. My apologies for the delay on getting this, uh, these videos out. But uh, I do promise you we will have this road, this on the road one day, you know. Um, I'll look back at all the times that I f***ing procrastinated and I will be like, why didn't I do this sooner? Miata, let's do it. See you later, guys. Thank you so much. And if you guys do want to see the previous episodes for the Miata, make sure to check them out here. I'll show them on screen. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.